Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Um, thank you for watching. And if you're new here, my name is Misty and I go to different mom and pop restaurants, our local restaurants around uh, the island of Oahu. And today's restaurant is Supatai. It was suggested by viewer Patricia Cullen. So thank you, Patricia, for uh, suggesting this. I wouldn't have known if you didn't. Um, if you're wondering where it is, it's in the Kapolei area in the newer shopping center next to the Walmart. This shopping center also has, um, I believe it's Jersey Mike's and Dickie's Barbecue, which I've done a video in the past on. And they obviously specialize in Thai food. So this is their Thai fried chicken plate and it's a combo. It comes with this, uh, hold on, big tub of green curry so this is combo b they have many different combos and what i liked and drew my eye to it is if you go to a traditional thai restaurant i'm not sure how it is elsewhere but in hawaii most of them are chinese uh, like family style so if you are just wanting a plate lunch to yourself you have to buy the whole dish and it's a very big um, portion it's meant to be shared with many people so it's kind of hard to eat by yourself and it doesn't come with rice so i'm kind of glad that they have rice and two different dishes that you can try in one plate lunch form. And the only other restaurant I know that does that is Bangkok Chef. So this is a great option if you're craving Thai food and you want an actual plate lunch with the rice. So the one I chose, of course, has the Thai style fried chicken and it comes with a sauce. It looks like a um, Vietnamese type sauce. I'm not sure if it's the same as Thai. It's got that vinegary fish sauce smell, but this one has a lot more chilies in it. So let's dig in. The smells are amazing coming out of this box and the chicken looks fabulously crispy. Let's dip into this. Wow, great flavor. I like how they chop it up in smaller pieces so it's easier to eat, great crunch to it. The sauce is really good too, not too sour. It has more of a savory fish sauce type of taste, but not smelly, like fishy smell. But you can tell that there's fish sauce in that sauce. And it just coats the chicken so well and it glistens. So good, so crunchy, but I'm not sure if you can see how crispy and pointy some of the pieces are. Great crunch, great flavor, but it hurt the roof of my mouth. So just be careful when you eat these little morsels, little morsels of death. The rice is good, um, not a big fan of jasmine rice, but as every Thai meal comes with, it's jasmine rice, but cooked perfectly. Man, that's good. The sauce itself isn't very spicy unless you actually get a piece of the chili on your chicken, but the sauce is actually just a nice, sweet chili sauce, um, more sweet than spicy at all, and it really does complement these little pieces of fried chicken. Let's go into the other part of the combo, which is this big vat of green curry. I'm probably gonna taste it by itself first and then put the rice into it because I don't want it to get my chicken wet and soggy. So I appreciate that they put the uh, curry in a separate dish or container. And the good thing is when you're on the go and doing takeout too, it doesn't spill all over your car. All right, it looks delicious. It's got the pieces of eggplant, some broccoli, which is new to me. Usually I don't see that in there. The typical cow peas or the long beans. And um, some bell pepper in there. So let's taste some veg in this green curry. Wow, an explosion of flavor. Very flavorful um, green curry. Green curry is one of my favorite curries out of all of them, the yellow and the red and the masaman. This curry's got a lot of bright flavors popping in your mouth. Um, a lot of lemongrass compared to the others I've tried, but in a good way. A lot of flavor in this curry, and it just has a lot of vegetables in here too. And I think it's a good um, dish with a lot of flavor considering it only has vegetables in it. Um, I don't think in this one you got to choose any kind of meat if you're getting it with the combo, so it's purely vegetarian. I like how the eggplant's soft and some of the other vegetables, such as the long beans and it looks like some cabbage in there too, have a little bit of crunch, which gives it different textures. And the vegetables aren't too overcooked. 
perfect amount of seasoning, not too salty, not under uh, seasoned or bland. Let's put a little bit of rice in here and try to soak up some of the curry, get those flavors going on in there. Wow. So good. If you've never had Thai curry before, totally different from Japanese or Indian curry. It's more of a milky coconut uh, flavor with the savory saltiness going on. Obviously, it's mostly made out of coconut milk for the liquid part. So um, the flavors are different. They've got the lemongrass going on and all the different spices and the chilies, but this one's not too spicy either. It's got really good flavor. So if you're not into spice, this is mild and will serve the general palate of the population where um, it's not offensive or totally burn your mouth um, hot. So very, very good. And look at the portion. That's a lot of curry and it will definitely keep you filled for the day. And if you're wondering why I didn't film it inside, the reason is it was actually really crowded in there with a lot of people eating. It's very nice and quaint in there and very clean and service was very friendly and fast. I called it in uh, my order. It was ready to go and it was nice and hot. Everything's still hot and fresh. So I didn't want to film people, you know, eating without their permission and, you know, due to privacy. So um, when you go though, it is clean inside and everything's good and if you want to dine in they have an ample amount of tables and chairs don't forget also with your combo meal you get a drink and i like that it's not a fountain drink so you can grab it on the go you can choose any of the sodas in her fridge in the front so there's different ones coke sprite coke zero etc so don't forget you get a drink with the combo all right if you want to know the price of the combos and you can pick any combo from their list the ones that I pick was obviously the fried chicken and the green curry. It is $16.95 and quite expensive sounding, but definitely probably could feed two people. That was a lot of food and came with the big scoops of rice and it was very delicious. Definitely recommend the fried chicken however you get it with the combo because there's different combos with fried chicken. So if you don't like the curry, you can get something else with the fried chicken or just get the fried chicken on its own. It is wonderful. And if you're a green curry fan, definitely try their green curry too because it's one of the top tasting ones I've tasted on the island. All right, next up is the Thai basil fried rice. Big fan of Thai basil fried rice and always like to try it at different places that serve Thai food. I also like to try uh, green papaya salad, but I figured this was a lot of food, so I don't need some green papaya salad today. But smells really delicious again when I opened it up. Uh, got that nice cilantro smell. Uh, you get to pick your protein with it. So I got chicken. You can get beef, pork, or shrimp. I think um, some other kind of seafood, but that is, I think, more if you get seafood. So it's a lot cheaper with just the regular protein, such as chicken, pork, or beef. So let's dig into this. Hmm. One more try. It just doesn't taste, um, not a bad taste, but it doesn't taste like the Thai fried rice I'm used to getting from different restaurants. Different flavor. I do appreciate a lot of holy basil in here, Thai basil. So good. Um, and I like that there's different things in here that I have not seen in other Thai fried rices in um, Hawaii anyway. Like I see bamboo shoots, some long beans, and egg. A lot of things in this fried rice. Usually I just see onion, egg, and the protein you picked. But this has a lot of things in it. And I like the spice. This one's pretty spicy, but I asked them to do it medium. I will say it's very good. This is different tasting from what I'm used to from the other restaurants I've been to but not in a bad way I think because there's so many things going on in here so you got the flavor of the bamboo shoots the chilies the cow peas and just the basil so there's a lot of flavors just mixing with each other but that's not a bad thing because sometimes when you get the fried rice that I'm talking about 
you just kind of get that saltiness and the you know savoriness of it but this has a lot of things going on including the spice i appreciate the cilantro too a big fan of cilantro so that's a nice touch as well and you do find throughout some fresh thai bird chilies and i think that's a great addition um, it's not like that dried powdered crushed pepper that some cheap places put in so you're getting real fresh thai chilies and it gives it that nice burn so if you're not into heat just ask it for this mild but if you're a fan of heat definitely get it with the chilies because it is delicious for a heat lover really nice burn gives it a more complex flavor a bit of chicken here too chicken's okay to be honest it kind of tastes like it's boiled uh, i wish it was a little bit more fried first before adding into the rice but other than that this is a pretty good solid dish so if you're wondering what the basil fried rice costs it is $13.95 again most Thai restaurants are family style just like Chinese restaurants so this is expensive sounding but it's actually for a whole meal to share with different people so um, that's why the portion is huge and so you probably wouldn't eat it alone if you eat it alone it'll probably make four meals or something so definitely good basil Thai fried rice and it's got a lot of ingredients in it compared to other restaurants I've been to. So the quality is there. The ingredients are fresh. Love the addition of the Thai fresh chilies. And um, if you're one to like fried rice, you probably enjoy this one. And so thank you, Patricia, for suggesting Supa Thai. It was delicious food. Um, definitely recommend it if you're craving Thai food or trying to look for something different to eat in the Kapolei area if you're on this side and um, parking was pretty simple there's a pretty big parking lot and it's not too crowded and um, you can phone in your order and the order is done within 15 minutes and it was done at the time she said and it was ready to go so in and out super fast don't have to worry about parking and you can go on your merry way with your meal so if you found this helpful press the like button subscribe if you're new and I'll show you more food adventures next week. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. Have a good weekend. Peace out.